Morning everybody, Brandon with Electrical Specialist. Wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, slow times, slow seasons, about slow season. Um, I think anybody in the electrical field or in construction in general knows that there's ebbs and flows to the season. There's, there's the busy season from pretty much from spring to uh, the end of summer. And then slow season starts, you know, November, December. It really usually gets pretty tough January, February. Um, and then it picks back up heading into the spring again. Um, so it's not a secret. We all know this. Why do we, why do we deal with it? You know, I mean, what can we do about it? Sorry, it's early. It's a little after five. I'm just getting my, my coffee in here. Uh, there is something we can do about it. Um, I've been learning from my coaching and from just experience that that's when you ramp up marketing. You want to actually, have you, how, are you reaching out to your current clients or is, are you just waiting on calls to come in with new clients every time? That's really the question is, are you digging for gold in the mine you've already got, or are you going to somebody else's mine every day? I mean, it never crossed my mind until one of my coaches pointed it out that 65 to 85% of all your work should be coming from repeat clients. I mean, unless it's your first year of business, you should have a CRM built up with everybody's email addresses um, and a way to keep in contact with them. And you should be periodically reaching out to them and staying top of mind um, we're just starting, uh, what is it? The monkey thing. Uh, what is that called? It's, it's email drip marketing. Um, of course the name's going to elude me right now, but anyway, send out a quarterly, say newsletter, MailChimp. That's what it's called. Of course. Anyway, you can send out a company newsletter every quarter. It's a, up to you how you want to do your campaign. Uh, but we we are just going to launch ours um, this week, I believe. Maybe next week. But I wish we would have done it a month ago. Uh, and that was kind of the idea. We just kind of... Uh, we're, we're doing a giveaway right now because, of course, the Chiefs are in full swing, about ready to head into a playoff run. Um, so I had the idea, hey, let's do the Chiefs sign giveaway. Year one, I gave away a nice big metal Chiefs sign. And on Facebook, then a promo, and I got most of my following just from that one promo uh, over five years ago. I don't know why I haven't done one since. Uh, everybody loved it. It was really cool. Um, everyone enjoyed it. Uh, and these chief signs are really cool, too. You'll have to go to the, my Facebook um, electrical specialist to check it out. Uh, but anyway... We decided to attach that promo uh, to our newsletter. That way people will have the opportunity to win that uh, and get a little more exposure, which kind of put getting the um, newsletter out. It's our first one. Instead of getting out last month, it's, it's just going to come out more or less first week of December. It, I wish I, we really should have had it out a month ago. But uh, phones are, today is the end of November, this week is the end of November, and phones are drying up, they're not really ringing, if they are ringing, it's somebody with a, a service call, that's all we're getting, just service call, service call, service call, service call. Uh, we thrive, our niche is more, more mid-sized jobs, um, two guys for most of a day, a week, we like custom homes, power distribution, panels, meters, risers. Um, People are sitting on those right now, which is understandable. They don't want people in their house over the holiday season. And, you know, they're buying presents. So it's not like they're, they've got extra cash at the moment to pull the trigger on projects. So totally makes sense. We all see it coming. Um, something else you can do with the time that, I'm, that I've learned, of course, uh, you could take a little bit of your profits and stack them away and then spend some time training. Uh, we're going to be rolling out another part of our training class for apprentices early in the year, January. 
And if we are a little bit slow, that's fine. That's actually going to give us more time to ramp up training and get these guys ahead of the curve. So if you don't have a custom training program and you're doing some kind of some contracting, whether it's electrical, plumbing, HVAC, framing, whatever it is, you should have an in-house training program. Yes, they're learning on the job every day, but hanging something at, or putting something in as you're installing it is different than being explained why and how and letting them think about the process before. So having an in-house training program is a great way to keep your guys busy when there's not work out there. So that's a, a, a really handy thing that we've done. In fact, we've got good enough teachers here that we might create a program uh, to help others on the outside. We might take this past our own needs and see if we can help other people with it. Um, I'm a project, a, a product of a tech class. Uh, s several of my employees went to a tech class. They're great classes, but they don't churn out ready-to-go employees, if you know what I mean. They give you a lot of knowledge. They let you know what electrical parts are called. You do a little hands-on, but just enough to where the kid thinks that he can go out there and he knows more than, you know, somebody off the street, which he does. He knows terminology. He knows a little bit of theory. But honestly, he's not ready to produce. Every time I get a kid out of a class, he, I put him on something and he sits there and overthinks it because he thinks he has more knowledge than everyone else. So he's trying to apply that, but he doesn't know how to apply it because he's never been in a real world situation yet. So I wish they do more hands-on training. Um, I think an employee training program for construction should be 90% hands-on and 10% book learning, uh, at least for the first year. Because if they, if they can't come in and swing a hammer and hammer staples and actually do the work, the groundwork, um, they're not making money. They're out there losing money while you're training them. So we're considering focusing our class on churning out profitable employees right off the bat. Uh, that way they don't go somewhere and say, I've got, you know, a year or two knowledge from a class and we send them to do a, you know, a new house rough in and they can't even drive a staple around Romex. Um, you know, they spend three weeks just learning how to balance a hammer and not, you know, <laughs> bust their thumb while they're driving a staple because that's that's what you do in residential construction for the most part when you're a grunt when you're a, a year one apprentice so i would put some time and effort into a training program no matter what you do um and that way you do have somewhat something to do with the guys uh when times are slow so just some ideas anyway i hope you guys had a great thanksgiving uh, i got to spend some time with my family and we got christmas coming up so Anyway, have a happy holiday, guys. Good to see you.